It's, it's been it's been great. Uh, it's always enjoyable being around the players and and the assistant coaches and and all. And uh, it's kind of like riding a bike. You, you you don't you don't forget after all those years. So uh, so it's been good. Hopefully uh, hopefully the players feel that way. The last time a coach left Oklahoma for another collegiate coaching job was in the 1940s. And so I think it was a huge shock to Oklahoma fans who hold the program at such high esteem. So I, I, I know that there's a sign across the street from your house that said, you know, thanks, Bob, and the outpouring of support has been huge. But what's it felt like to receive that kind of uh, love from the Sooner Nation? Yeah, I appreciate it. You're very kind of everybody. I, I'm the first to say I sure don't need to be thanked or anything else, but, but I do appreciate it. Everybody has reached out so much and been so you know, uh, so appreciative, and I, I do appreciate their kind words, their sentiment, and thank you very much from my family and I. And uh, but it's the the natural thing to do, um, you know, to help our players finish the season in the right way. And uh, and again, I I sure don't need flowers or uh, or any special special thanks, but I, I I appreciate it. Yeah, the flowers by the statue is a little awkward, yeah, right? Yeah, that's uh, <laughs> I, I haven't passed away, fortunately. I'm still here, so let's save the flowers. I always felt if, as a head coach, if you play smarter, tougher, and harder than your opponent, it takes no talent to do that. It kind of pains me to say this, but uh, I believe they're going to have a strong year. Jim Harbaugh's perfect for Michigan. I think he's a great coach. He's a damn good coach. Every year winning eight, nine, ten games. That, look around the country. That isn't happening everywhere. Just look at Texas right now. Is it more fun to prepare a game plan or to prepare for the show on Saturday? Oh, uh, being on the field's the best, um, you know, but it's, it's different in that I, I have a hard time influencing this game a whole lot with being away for the number of years I have been. Uh, situation, terminology's different, players are, you know, different from when I was there. So, so anyway, that part of it's a little bit different, and, but I, I had a great time on the, uh, on, on the set with Big Noon kickoff. It, the, Fox guys, a great organization, great people to work for, and and we had a genuinely had a lot of fun on set with all of those guys. They're they're a bunch of big fun personalities. And Reggie, you only got booed by opposing teams. <laughs> okay? A college player, his own football team, period, should never be booed or yeah. embarrassed. Hey, were there ever any nerves? I mean, you look comfortable from the very beginning. Not really. I <laughs> I've been in a few stadiums in some big moments, <laughs> Mark. So I'm I wasn't real worried about how that would how that would go, you know what I mean? So I, I wouldn't say nerves. I, you want to do a good job, though. So I, I kind of, early on, I was a little bit too scripted in what I felt I was going to say. And then I gave that up after about the first weekend. I said, all right, I'm just going to talk football and, it, you know, kind of enjoy the moment and uh, let my, my personality show a little bit. And uh, that worked out a lot better. Um, I, I think that, you know, once the announcement was made that Brent was the coach, uh, it seemed like, again, everybody felt uh, almost rehabilitated or that if they were upset that it just kind of feels right. Oklahoma has been and always will be the measuring stick in college football. Uh, and his enthusiasm, I think, is, uh, uh, has been a big deal also. So did, did it feel that way to you that, hey, look, this is a, this is a great fit? Absolutely. This is the absolute perfect fit. Let's, let's analyze it. I came in after seven years at Kansas State, three years at Florida. Three, one national championship, right? Brent comes in with, and, and then Lincoln comes in with just two years with me and then was at East Carolina ahead of that. And he has great success. Now, you've got Brent Venables coming in 13 years at OU, however many at Kansas State rebuilding that program, eight national championships, 13 years here at Clemson where they've been doing it the, at the top level for the last 10, 12 years with anybody. So, you know, the guy's been to eight na national championship games. So he comes in tenfold with the experience over myself and or, or Lincoln. You know, when, when you look at his background and his experience and what he's been doing at Clemson. So he brings all of that knowledge to us right now. I think it's fantastic. And I think he's, gonna, he's just going to bring us to another level.
too nice to talk. Let's, let's go play some golf. <laughs> right here at Belmar, the yeah. favorite spot, right? Exactly. Thanks, yeah. Bob. All right. Thanks. Appreciate it. That was great. Yep. Thanks for your time. Yeah, man. No uh, relationships and visiting with people and finding a comfort level still the same. Um, I think what's happened nowadays, of course, with the early signing date is everything has just happened so much faster. And um, I'm so appreciative of the people that took me into their homes and so many of them, you know, held on to see what we were going to do here at OU and found out the results were great. And there's other great coaches out there. and. We've got one of the best in Brent Venables, and uh, appreciate the patience people showed in that week, week and a half, maybe. What effect do you think the NIL is going to have? It seems like people are starting to get organized. I know Oklahoma uh, just set up a protocol with some things that are, that are going on. Um, and how do you see that affecting the way that recruiting will go in the future? Oh, it definitely is part of the recruiting uh, picture. Um, I, I agree with Coach Venables, with Brent, that I, I don't think it should be the only piece uh, if you want a well-rounded education and a great atmosphere and a place to win and enjoy your experience, there's more to just going to college than just making some money um, if you, if you want to do it the right way. And, and I know OU is going to do all they can to be right in the, the forefront of, of NIL and, and what's the right you know, situation for each player. And, and they're working on that uh, right now. The last time a coach left Oklahoma, for another collegiate coaching job was in the 1940s. So I think it was a huge shock to Oklahoma fans who hold their program in such high esteem. So I, I, I know that there's a sign across the street from your house that said, you know, thanks, Bob, and the outpouring of support has been huge. But what's it felt like to receive that kind of, uh, what's Brent going to be doing for the bowl game? Uh, I know uh, Brent's traveling home to see his family here, you know, just for Christmas and all. And then he's going to come out to the bowl game a couple two, three days ahead of the game. So he'll just be observing, watching, and, and seeing. You know, he's already watched two, three practices, and really he's gotten a lot out of that, seeing how the guys move around and play. And um, so he'll do the same when he gets out to the bowl game. But he, he won't, you know, that'll be it, just, just observing. Um, I, I think that, you know, once the announcement was made that Brent was the coach, uh, it seemed like, again, everybody felt almost rehabilitated or that if they were upset that it just kind of feels right. Uh, and his enthusiasm, I think, is, uh, uh, has been a big deal also. So did it, did it feel that way to you that, hey, look, this is a, this is a great